Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel Tech Sense Wheels. Today we are going to see uh, how to update firmware in uh, Sony XCV3000 in car uh, multimedia player. So uh, we have to go to the Sony website for this. Uh, you can uh, just search for Sony XCV firmware update and uh, you just uh, click on the Sony website. So here you will see the latest firmware and uh, then user agreement things and then click on download. So once you click uh, the file will be downloaded in um, uh, zip format and uh, you have to just copy to uh, one pen drive so I am using this pen drive I have uh, copied it here so once it gets copied uh, you have to just uh, unzip it so we will just wait for getting it copied so it's copied already you have to now unzip the file here so you, know, you have to make sure that you are um, uh, unzipping it in, into the root uh, folder that means uh, when you click open the pen drive the first page you can see there you have to copy so you will get three files so that three files uh, it will be unzipped as a folder so you have to just cut it and um, paste it in the root folder that means when you open uh, the pen drive folder you should see the these three files so this this mm mmc and mso and mds which files you can so see so here we go, um, I have inserted the pen drive into the USB port, now we have to go to home, so in this home and settings, then uh, general and you have to scroll down to firmware version and uh, once firmware version is 1.24 what we downloaded right now is 1.25 so we can update it and make sure that you have copied the firmware files that three files in the root directory so once you copy that in the root directory and insert the usb you can just uh, plug in the usb drive the spin drive into the usb port and just come here and click update so it will start reading and so it's, it has a recognition that i have in copied the 1.25 version so it's asking me to whether to update or cancel so i'll just click on update so it'll take some time for updation and so uh, now the updation process is completed so let's see let's check uh, out the version now so as you can now so the version is 1.25 so the firmware has been updated and also the so you can see it here so as per uh, sony uh, this new update uh, gives you better stability for the apple carplay i actually when i had some issues with clock carplay it was uh, getting me issues like uh, being getting stuck in between when i'm used to navigate or when i used to siri also used to get uh, stuck in between so the sony sony saying that uh, those issues will be solved with this firmware update so let's see whether it gets solved so that's it that's how you update firmware version in sony xav 3000 thank you so here is the update uh, i have tested it with the carplay uh, so it still gave me a problem with the navigation so when you are uh, using google map for navigation after an hour or so it's getting uh, disconnected the map getting map app getting closed so that's it thank you